Here we go. This must be the mine. So, from what I understand, spirit fossils are a very particular color. Oh, and they make sounds, too. Huh. Crazy. Strange. It's like the miners quit in the middle of their work. Do you know what happened? No. Maybe there was some kind of accident. They might have closed the mine because it was dangerous. That doesn't sound good. Come on, don't chicken out. We've come too far to quit now. You sure are fired up today. An adventure's waiting! Let's make the most of it! Ready to race? Whoever finds the most spirit fossils wins! <sighs> Just be careful, okay? I don't want to see you get hurt. Oh, Jude, you always know how to poop on my party. Besides, shouldn't you be more worried about Mila than me? Now, let's see. I guess it's too much to ask to find some lying around in plain sight. Mila, wait here. This has to be it. You find something, Jude? Whoa! What's that? No mistaking that color. Those are spirit fossils. But... they're so teensy-weensy. Hey! I think I feel a slight breeze. I don't think this is a dead end. You two sit tight. I want to see where it goes. And let you beat me? Ha! Leia, come on. It's too dangerous. And that's why we should all go together. Yep. What's the point of bringing me along if you're just gonna go all lone wolf? 
Just watch your step, okay? Don't worry about it. If it starts to hurt, just say so, okay? I'm fine. You and Jude say the exact same things. I don't see spirit bustles anywhere. <sighs> Maybe it's time to call it a day? You shouldn't overdo it with your condition. What do you mean, my condition? I haven't been sick since I was a kid. That wasn't that long ago. Wow. Welcome back, Jude. Let the nagging begin. What's that supposed to mean? And here I thought that Fenmont had changed you. You should stop worrying so much. Leia, listen to me. This is serious. Denied. I can't hear you. It's not working. Energize. Demon fist. I did it! Yeah, 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 yeah
It's not working? Dude!
power of linking. Or because we're childhood friends. That wasn't too bad. I win!
Hope I win. Got it. Oh, All right. I'll help too. All right. You should probably head back. Uh, uh, hey. What exactly is a spirit fossil anyway? When a spirit loses its mana, it manifests in this world as a stone. <sighs> in other words, you're saying the spirit dies? I've never really heard of something like that happening, though. Is that like a city thing? Not that I know of. Hmm. So does that mean a whole bunch of spirits died ages ago? Most of the spirits died before I was born. What do you mean? This can wait. We really should get moving. We really should get moving. Yeah. Whoa, hey, no need to get all angry on me. Wait, did you just hear something? Hear what? That, a ringing. Where is it coming from? There! It's a spirit fossil! Good ears! Let's check it out! Yeah. 
focus. That's one. Got it. Crash. All right. of good loot. It's fine. We already have all we need of that.
I win!
What's causing these earthquakes? I don't know. Let's just keep moving. I win! Got it! It's not working? go this is definitely the right spot did it move hey over there more spirit fossil fragments the big one must be in there yeah but rocks don't just get up and move by themselves if you eliminate the impossible whatever remains however improbable must be the truth how's egg principle yes I suppose so you two stay here this time, I really am going in by myself. Keep an eye on Mila. Hey, hold on! Leia?
Wow. Look at this place. It's surreal. You hear that? All the sounds. They keep getting louder and softer. Watch yourselves. It's so pretty. Watch out! Get back, Leia! Huh? Look out! Jude! What's that? Look at its head, Jude! Is that the spirit fossil? <sighs> Leia, don't get too close! Don't worry, Jude. I'll get that fossil. Watch this! Jeez, why is this thing so dark and big? It must be using the spirit fossil as a source of energy. I can't think of any other explanation. Let's just focus on beating it. You're going to pay for that. Get away from them, you beast!
Here we go. Showed up, Mila. Excellent. You were able to use the Asperixis. Goodness, this is some device you humans have come up with. How bad's the pain? <laughs> well, it's not worse than I imagined, but it's considerable. I'm sorry, I should have been more careful. But you retrieved the spirit fossil for me. If anything, I'm in your debt. Thanks. Let's get back to town. I'll get the wheelchair. Good. Still in one piece. Even with the Asperixis, Mila won't be able to complete her mission without someone's help. And that means... I know what I have to do. <sighs> Sorry. I think I'm at my limit. Mila! Don't worry. She just passed out. I don't mind pushing the wheelchair on the way back. Uh, okay. Why the sudden burst of compassion? Why? Is there anything wrong with it? Well, no. Just unexpected, I guess. What can I say? I'm feeling really inspired by your friend here.
Ah, you're awake. Thank goodness. Jude. Are you okay? Is anything broken? You went to the mine, didn't you? Oh, why didn't you tell us? I'm sorry, Mom. Jude! Honey, don't! What if something had happened to the girls? Did you think it all before charging off? I did whatever I could do to help. I tried, unlike you, Dad. Why, you little... <sighs> Please don't be so hard on him. He did well accomplishing his task. You're on your feet. Thanks to these two. <sighs> Try not to overdo it now. Hurry up and get back into the chair. Right. Darling. Hmm. Leia, take her to the clinic at once. Yes, Doctor. Well, you know what, Mila? You're gonna need some serious physical therapy. Right. Sorry to be a burden, Leia. Hey, no worries. That's my job. Jude, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine.
Seasonal winds are kicking in. Time sure flies. But I still can't believe Mila's being discharged today. I bet the doc was floored by her rapid recovery. Heck if I know. Dad and I barely talk. Mila will be along as soon as she's ready. Care to explain this? What's that? A wanted poster? From honor student to fugitive, huh? It's not like it affects you. What did you do? The poster makes it sound like you stole something. Stole? That thing Mila gave to Ivor. Was that it? Speak properly, young man. Uh, forget it. So now what? You gonna yell at Mila for corrupting me? You haven't exactly been nice to her. Jude, Jude. You're so naive. You still don't know what she is. She's finally out. Mila! I'm fine. Ah, I've missed the fresh air. How about taking a little walk? Good idea. Let's stroll to the Sea Haven. We'll take it slow. She never stops moving forward under her own power, no matter what happens. Do you know why, Jude? What's this? No. Why now, after all this time? What's the deal with that wanted poster? It has something to do with Fenmont, right? That's where you met Mila. She's trying to destroy a secret Rashigal military weapon. It uses something called a Spyrex. She swears it's her mission to save the world from those things. A Spyrex. Huh? Jude, buddy, super pal, slap me some face! What in the world? Elise, what are you doing here? Well, we came to see you. We wanted to congratulate you on your recovery. But we never expected a miracle. Nice to see you on your feet. It's all thanks to Jude and Leia. Rowan! It has been a while, Jude. And a pleasure to meet you, young lady. My name is Rowan. 
Oh, uh, hello. So this is the device responsible for your miraculous recovery. An Asperixis, you call it? Fascinating. Will you be sticking around for a while? Lady Drussel insisted that I take a vacation, and Miss Elise was most persistent in her desire to see Mila. Don't blame us, Butler! You're the one who's been getting sloppy on the job lately! That's not like you. It's true. This old butler has been quite distracted as of late. Indeed, one concern in particular is at the forefront of my mind. I see. I wish we had more time to listen to the whole story, but... Mila and I are planning to leave LaRonde as soon as possible. Probably tomorrow. I don't remember saying that. I know you well enough by now. <sighs> but you are still recovering. What could be so important in Fenmont that you must leave at once? A weapon they call the Lance of Kresnik. As long as it endures, mankind and spirit kind are doomed to extinction. Who built it? The King of Rashigal? You cannot reach Fenmont without once again heading for Fort Gandala. Things ended badly for you the last time you visited that place, if you'll recall. Are you not afraid? No. I fear nothing in this world. Except that one day, I may lose the willpower to complete my mission. Why is this mission so gosh darn important to you? Because I am Maxwell. It is my duty to protect this world. Maxwell, you say? The spirit? Mila's a spirit? Is it true? What? But that doesn't matter, does it? It's not gonna change who we know her as. Come on, everyone. No use standing around talking. Let's go back inside. Sounds like a plan. Medicine, biology, history, literature. There are some fascinating books here. Never realized you like to read so much. Humans like to record all sorts of things. About the world, about others, about themselves. There's no better way to learn about the human realm. So it's your main source of information. I always thought that the Lord of Spirits had the power to just know everything. The concept of an omniscient deity is a common notion. Humans long for beings of absolute power, so much so that at times, they'll even sacrifice their lives for the mere idea of one. 
Never mind that humans only imagined such perfect beings to make up for their own imperfections. You may be right. At least, that's what I read in a book. Now, this handwritten book looks very intriguing. Jude Mathis, Developmental Diary. Wait, what? Hmm. For some reason, it's been placed right next to Bedwetting Causes and Cures. C come on, Mila. We don't have time for reading. We've got a world to save. Are you all set? Yeah, believe it or not. To be honest, I'm still in shock that you're leaving. You could have given us a little more warning. Sorry. It's your decision, honey. What about Dad? Still fuming. I see. Well, I'm eager to get going. Shall we be off? Huh? We've still got some time until the boat departs. True, but Elise and Rowan came all the way here to wish me well. It would be rude not to bid them goodbye before leaving. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Morning. Good morning. Oh, my goodness. Sorry about that. Are you certain this is a good idea? Yes. I have a responsibility to my mission. To the world. And you wish to remain true to that burden? You are such a strong, proud woman. Seeing your determination, it reopens some old wounds. What do you mean? Lord Klein tasked me with saving this country. His dying words have weighed heavily on my mind lately. Am I even capable of such a task? Can I put a stop to Noctagall's schemes? Back at Fort Gondala, it seemed like he knew you. He is a friend of mine. One of my oldest. So that's the source of your concern. Whether you can fight against a friend or not. No way! If he was a real friend, you wouldn't fight him! Fretting over it won't strengthen your resolve. Only willpower can do that. For now, will you come with us? I'm sorry? You could still grapple with these issues if you like, but a human life is short. Time is of the essence. You might as well keep moving forward while you worry. Hesitation is a common human failing, after all. Why not come along, Rowan? I'd feel safer with you around anyway. <laughs> Your words ring true. Caving to worry and doubt would only waste my time. And this old man is not growing any younger. Does that mean... Yes. Please allow me to accompany you. I'll come too. Sorry, Elise. You should head back home to Drissel. Miss Elise. I need you to give the young mistress a message. Tell her that I have headed to Fenmont. But... Hmm? I will ask an acquaintance of mine in Sapstrath Seahaven to escort Elise home. But Elise is heading back to Sherilton, right? Won't we be heading in the same direction? I have an idea. 
Would you allow me to handle this matter? Sure. Let's stick together until we have to board the ship. Okay. And here I thought we were super pals, Jude. Guess not. Well, hello. Good day, Master Sonia. Is... No, I haven't seen her all day. She hasn't even done her chores. She'll be home before dinner? She won't want to miss my cooking. I see. It's unfortunate that we missed her. Yeah. Master Sonia, Mila and I are leaving on another journey. Please tell Leia goodbye for us. Is that right? Well, don't worry. I'll tell her. You go on and have a safe trip. Thank you. She's going to get so depressed again with you gone. And then you'll see her getting depressed and get even more depressed yourself. Well, come on. Don't you feel sorry for her? I feel sorry for the poor woman who's stuck with a bunch of weaklings for a husband and a daughter. And that would be me. I see your tongue is still as sharp as your fist is strong. Isn't that what you love about me? And yet I can't help but hope that Leia grows up to take after me. I wonder why. What did you just say? Interesting. This must be what they call a domestic spat. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is how they express their love for each other. Not so different from your own family, huh, Jude? Don't forget to write them sometimes, okay? And send a letter to Leia while you're at it. Uh, sure. Where's Leia? I wanted to thank her. This ship is bound for Ajul. Is this part of the plan you mentioned? It is. If you hatch this plan, then we know it will work. You're not going to make amends with your father? What's the point, Mom? We're minutes from leaving. Your father is just worried about you, honey. Please understand that. I hate to impose, but would you look after this young lady for a few days? Someone from Sapstrath Sea Haven will be coming to pick her up. Can you watch her until then? Oh, she's adorable. Yes, of course. I'll take good care of her. This kind of abandonment can really stunt our emotional growth and stuff and things! Jude! Dad, I've made up my mind. I'm going with Mila. You're not going anywhere with that woman. The thing she's gotten you involved with. Looky here. I just can't get rid of you people, can I? Alvin? My new job didn't really pan out. You know, I still haven't worked off all the money I got last time, so I guess you're stuck with me. You're coming with us? You, you know this man? Yeah. We're old traveling buddies. Alvin! Can you believe these meanies are abandoning us? You poor little spud. You can fight just as well as they can. Come on, let's bring the kid and her toy along. It'll be just like old times. But Alvin... Don't worry, I'll protect her if things get dicey. Come on, Rowan. You're stuck with us, Butler! <laughs> Last call for boarding. The ship will be departing momentarily. If we can't buy people off, I guess they have to come. 
Well then, what are you waiting for? Hurry aboard! Yay! It seems I am no match for you. And now you two. Right. Yeah, I better get aboard. Jude! Dad. Don't you have something to say to your parents? Goodbye. Remember, taking responsibility for your actions is part of becoming an adult. This tub's bound for Lakutum Sea Haven? I thought you were heading for Fenmont. You're asking this now? You really do go with the flow, huh? Like, literally. I couldn't care less where we wind up. I'm only here to look after Miss Elise. And me, me, me! The man's back together! You're not exactly part of the bargain. <laughs> Rowan. Please tell us your plan for taking us to Aju. Very well. I believe trying to force our way through Fort Gondala now would be a suicide mission, to put it bluntly. I saw the fortress's security columns being activated as we were escaping, right after Mila was injured. And those are... They're weapons made by humans using Earth spirits. It would take an entire division of soldiers to defeat those automata, and only if they had a clever strategy. But the sea routes to Fenmon are still closed, so if we're heading to Ajul... You mean to cross from Ajul to Fenmont over land? <laughs> That's quite a hike. What do we do about Fezabel Marsh? Oh yeah, that's true. That swamp apparently stretches forever north of Fenmont. It's supposed to be the natural equivalent of Fort Gondala in terms of fortification. Isn't that marsh impossible to cross? Something about the spirit climb being too severe? Most of the time. But the interseasonal winds have blown, which means that Solemn is upon us. That means the spirit climb has shifted from Ephrita to Renome. Fezabel Marsh should be possible. For now, anyway. If you say so. I'm not sure I understand either. Uh, in other words... We're good to go if we hustle through the marshes, right? Exactly. In any case, hustling is the order of the day. It seems we have little time left. Why? What's gonna happen? I have received word that even after you left Sherilton, the Golems and Fort Gondala remain activated. This does not bode well for us. It's a clear sign that Rashagal is readying for open war. With who? With Ashul? Why would they want to do that? I must destroy the Lance of Kresnik before it can be used in battle. What's wrong? There's a person in there. Huh? Friend of yours? <laughs> yeah, a real barrel of fun. waiting in there I must have fallen asleep then you'll be well rested for the return trip home return trip I'm coming with you this isn't a game I know right who are you this is Alvin our little buddy pleasure to meet you 
I'm Leia. Pleasure to meet you too, little buddy. Little buddy? It's okay, right, Mila? I can come along? Hmm. Perhaps. Why do you want to? Wait, seriously? Your strength really inspired me back at the mine. I thought to myself, I want to be just like you. Hmm. Well? Is that it? I thought you might say that. Hold on. What is that? I filled this scrap of paper with all kinds of reasons. Take a look. Reasons why you should come with us? Yep, at least a hundred. <laughs> very well. You can come with us. I like you. You're so very... human. You gotta be kidding. Okay, now that it's all official. I'm happy to join. Thanks for asking. Leia, you can't just sneak onto a ship. That's against the law. Oh, really, Mr. Rashigal's most wanted? She does have you there. Oh, don't worry. I gave the sailors free coupons to my family's lodge in exchange for my passage. By the way, how were you able to figure out that we were headed to Lakutum Sea Haven? <laughs> Funny story. I got on a ship that I assumed was going to Sapstrap, but it turned out to be Lakutum bound. Wait. So you got on the wrong ship and found us purely by chance? Dumb luck is truly a frightful thing. Thank you. 
Your combat style seems so unrefined. Well, I prefer to call it powerful. On the battlefield, delicacy will only get you killed. In real warfare, you need guts first, power second, vigor third and fourth, and instinct fifth. Hmm. You make a persuasive argument. Well, yeah. You're talking to a mercenary here. How long have you been one? Well, for as long as I can remember. When I was your age, I was already a veteran. Trust me, kid. I'm a lot wiser than I look. I've been through enough to earn it. Since your advice carries the weight of experience, I will remember it well. Hmm. <sighs> Aw, oh, come on. No reason to bring your spirits down. You do your thing and let me do mine. I'll handle the heavy lifting. Yeah, okay. Saved by Rowan once again. Yeah, I don't even worry about enemy spirit arts anymore. No, I'm just honored that my old geezer tricks could be of use to you. You really are one handy geezer. I feel like we youngins ought to be bowing our heads in thanks. Oh, we should. Thank you, honored elder. Oh, my, no need for that. This is getting a little embarrassing. Very well, then. I'll simply pat you on the head. You did good. Uh, Mila? Rowan isn't a child. That takes me back to my youth. Such happy memories. I'll keep doing my best. What? It's actually working? Hey, are we close to Niakara? Are we? Don't you want to drop by? Why? I have no business there. Is there some reason you want to go? No, of course not. I just figured the villagers might be worried. They worship you, remember? I appreciate your concern for the villagers' well-being. But we have no time for detours. If we follow the Lakutum High Road North, we shall reach a city known as Shandu. We should head there first. Hold your horses. What about that monster that prowls the high road? What's it called, the Lord of Lakutum? My, you are well informed. Rest assured, the Lord of Lakutum is a slave to spirit climbs just like any other monster. Now that we have shifted into Renom, the beast would be positively timid. I doubt it will venture anywhere near the high road. To be scared. Don't expect me to pluck you from the monster's jaws, bud. Right then, let's hit the high road. You left Laronde without even telling your parents, right? Shouldn't you go back home to see them? Your mom's probably still fuming. Yeah. Oh, 
All right, another wall scaled. For some reason, sunsets always bring back memories from when I was little. For me, it's the ocean. The sound of crashing waves gets old memories flooding back. Interesting. Those have the same effect on me, too. You have childhood memories? Of course I do. Doesn't everyone? I know I'd love to hear them. <laughs> well, if an opportunity presents itself, I'd be happy to share. If an opportunity presents itself? Like when? Hmm. Crashing waves at sunset? The Sea Haven sure is beautiful at sunset. Yes. There really is something special about it. I know, right? When I see the sky glow red like that, all my bad memories just get washed away. Just try not to forget anything important. Shut up! Spirit Climb and Lakutum keeps the area cloaked in a perpetual golden sunset. Oh, that sounds so romantic. Was this really the only way? I hope 
I can get better. Don't worry, I'm here with you. I see a sunset like this. Ready, Tifa? All right, nice job. I will fulfill my mission, no matter what happens. I'm right there with you. Is it safe to leave Giselle behind? Oh, I assure you that I'm not the only one looking out for her. The house staff has served the Cheryl family for years, and the citizens of Sherylton are always supportive. It's all due to Lord Klein's fair leadership. It's not just that. Giselle works really hard to stay strong. She's so cool. No wonder she's Ellie's friend. Indeed. We are all quite proud of our young lady Cheryl. Let's all strive to make her as proud of us. Let us move onward. Give it to us straight, Doc. How's Mila doing? I understand this Asperixis device is quite advanced, but I can't imagine it could have healed such a grievous wound in so little time. When I first applied the Asperixis, it caused such intense pain that she passed out. But now that she's more used to it, she can tolerate it, as long as she doesn't exert herself. Doesn't sound like she's ready for any kind of battle. <sighs> Sorry, I shouldn't give you such a hard time. It's not like Mila would let a little pain slow her down, right? Thank you for the explanation. We'll take the lead for a while, and give Mila time to rest. As long as I'm on the battlefield, I'm sure we'll get by. Thanks, guys.
our way. It's not working. Leia the Slayer! What? You like it? It's your new nickname. Leia the Slayer! Mess with me and I'll beat ya! All those notes that you gave to Mila. Notes? Uh, oh, those weren't notes. Those were free massage coupons. What? But why? Case closed. Just let it go already. Hey, Mila, what was in all those notes Leia gave you? Notes? Oh, those were... Free massage coupons. Huh? Oh, <laughs> yes. They were free massage coupons. Perhaps I'll use one right now. Uh, one massage coming right up. Hmm, you sure are tense today. Am I? Hey, that... Hmm. Oh, whoa. Massages are not bad at all. I know, right? What is going on with these two? I've never traveled this deep into Ajul before. Nor I. In Rashagal, very little is known about the interior regions of Ajul. Well, if anyone has any questions, fire away. I've actually come here a number of times. Because you have a girl in Ajul? I came for work, mind you. Work. But sure, I may have met a few girls over the course of my duties. Not the most emphatic denial. Yeah. <laughs> 
I will fulfill my mission, no matter what happens. I'm right there with you. Expecting a message, Alvin? Huh? I've seen him using that bird to send letters before. To a woman, apparently. Sorry, folks. I'll be done in a jiff. Everyone, take five. Hey, Mila. You gave something to Ivor a while back. Was it the thing you swiped from the laboratory? Yes. It was the Spyrex used to operate the Lance of Kresnik. That little thing? But shouldn't you keep it with you? No. In fact, it would be dangerous to get anywhere near the Lance of Kresnik with that Spyrex in hand. Oh, well, you know better than me. There is a problem, however. The channeling circle that bound and captured the four. I believe it was generated by that Spyrex. I will need to generate a channeling circle of equal power to release them. In other words, you'll need that Spyrex to save the four great spirits. I may need the four's power to destroy the Lance of Kresnik, too. The real question, then, is when should I retrieve the key from Ivor? Hey, does that mean you can also use Spyrex to cast arts? It's not just for the Lance of Kresnik? Hmm. What's the simplest way to explain this? Remember the street lamps in Fenmont? People light them with spirit arts. It's a simple parlor trick. Even a child could do it. But what happens if more powerful spirit arts are required? Those require a powerful caster. Someone with a mana lobe of sufficient capacity. The greater the capacity, the more mana can be produced when using arts. That capacity is determined at birth. It's immutable. Precisely. That's one of the laws of Rizemaxia. But a Spyrex doesn't rely on the caster at all. A caster wielding a Spyrex can power anything, from a tiny street light to a gigantic object like the Lance of Kresnik. Mana capacity ceases to be a limitation. But that sounds really handy. It is handy, and that's precisely why it's so dangerous. With the Spyrex, anyone can wield arts potent enough to capture the Four. And anyone can use that power to kill others. Just as they plan to do with the Lance of Kresnik. Anyhow, we should get going. She's right about one thing. Weapons like the Lance of Kresnik must be destroyed. But is Spyrex itself really such a bad thing? You seem to know a lot about golems. What was that you said about Earth Spirits? Golems are artificial constructs created by the Rashigol army through Earth Spirit channeling. They can only work within particular spirit climbs, but they're very powerful. Impressive. Isn't she smart? Although she did just hear all that from Rowan. So she's just the Conductor's parrot. Elise learns spirit arts through intuition alone, so she hasn't made a proper study of the subject. However, once she learns something, her ability to recall it is quite impressive. I learned a lot of other things, too. Like Femmon is protected to the north and south by golems and the Fezabel Marsh. It's an impregnable defense. Impregnable, huh? Can you tell me what that means? Uh, um, well... <laughs> Perhaps it's time we expand our lessons beyond just spirit arts. Hey, Mila? Are you really Maxwell? I am. Had I not mentioned that yet? Ah, she isn't human! Run away! Having seen the strength of Mila's resolve, I have no trouble believing that to be true. So how come you look so normal? I have taken physical form by using the elements within a human body as a catalyst. 
who it has proven to be an irksome vessel with many limitations. So Mila is Maxwell in a human body. Well, it doesn't change who she is, right? Let's leave it at that. It's still a little scary. But haven't you always known Mila to be scary when she's angry about something? I guess that's true. Are they afraid of me? Or is that a sign of respect? Well, I suppose either will do. It's a pain, but I better try to bang out a letter. Let's see. Look, Alvin's writing another letter. My dearest, now that the interseasonals have blown their last, and the spirit climb has settled, my thoughts stray to you and your well-being. He's so formal. He's gotta be writing to a woman. That reminds me, Jude. How come you didn't answer any of the letters I sent to you in Fenmont? I didn't know what I was supposed to say. You only ever talked about yourself. Also, your penmanship could use some work. I can't believe you! You blow me off and still have the nerve to complain! But I could barely even decipher them. You yank the pen so hard it tears the paper. Well, maybe I'll just copy you. Your cutesy little bubble letters are straight from a little girl's diary. What? Guys aren't allowed to write neatly? That's sexist. I'm not being sexist! That's exactly how it looks! Then you've proven my point. You are sexist. <laughs> I'll never run out of things to write about with these people around. Oh, my aching back. Your back hurts? Want me to give you a little therapeutic massage? Oh, that's very generous of you. Don't coddle the elderly kid. It never ends well. But he's in pain. I am grateful for the sentiment, Jude, but I worry that your hands might not be strong enough. Perhaps a massage from a nubile young woman would be more effective. You mean me? Hmm. If I had the four, I'd have Ifrit bathe your back in flame to increase blood flow. Then have gnomes send tremors up and down your spine. That would clear it right up. But I suppose I could still do most of that with my own arts. Go ahead. Show me where it hurts. Oh, I'm fine, really. Aches and pains are old friends to a man my age. <laughs> Let's be moving on, then. Huh? You don't want the massage? See what I mean? Yeah. No more coddling. Are you ladies feeling well? Anyone need a break? I'm okay. You sure are friendly. I thought mercenaries were supposed to be gruff and scary. <laughs> That's just a stereotype. Although there certainly are a few like that. A true pro uses good manners and a kind demeanor to compensate for the job's shadier aspects. Huh. I guess Elvin would be even worse if he was rude as well as devious. <laughs> I suppose. Man, you really are cool if you can let comments like that roll off your back, little buddy. Right? Sass from stuffed animals, cheeky teenagers calling me little buddy. Nope. Don't care one bit.
I don't know which martial arts to use. You simply have to experiment with them all. It's the only way to find the ones that suit your style. Stay on guard. The enemy could be all around us. Yes, ma'am. How about we take a break? But anyone care for tea? This is hardly the time for tea. Whatever do you mean? Here, I've steeped some of my finest blend. Hmm. Well, a moment's rest then. But stay vigilant. This is good! It tastes like sunshine! It's wonderful. Not just the flavor, but the aroma too. It's my own special mix. The aroma comes from dried fruit peels. That's peculiar. After just one cup, I feel completely energized. I'm better than ever! Such is the magic of good tea and idle conversation. Thank you. 
This old man can yeah, still yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, Let's go! Go, Debo! Very good. The familiar battlefield. Yeah, all that training's paying off. Maybe it's time for a black belt. It's a miracle! You can walk! Ivor? What are you doing here? Who's this guy? Mila's handmaid. Now that your legs have healed, you must return to the village at once. Please, if something else were to happen to you, I don't know what I'd do. I cannot return yet. I have business in Fenmont. In that case, allow me to accompany you. That won't be necessary. I have all the help I need. From these people? These people, Jude and Leia here, helped me walk again. They can be trusted. Jude again? Uh, I'm Leia. Nice to meet you. He's got some issues, huh? You must feel pretty pleased with yourself now that Lady Mila is on her feet again. Well, I did promise I would help her walk again, and here she is walking. How dare you take credit for this miracle! It was all due to Lady Mila's divine power! It must have been! Maxwell, curse you! I was the one who was supposed to heal her! Uh, sorry? That's right. Beg for your forgiveness, you phony! Atone for your blasphemy! What is he talking about? It would seem Jude keeps the most eccentric company. All of his acquaintances are so... unique. Ivor, I gave you an important mission. Why are you here? I've not forgotten about the defense of the village. And the item you entrusted to me is safe. I have it hidden in a place known to no other. However, I recently received this. Maxwell is in grave danger. You must rescue her at once. I rushed forth immediately. I only just now caught up with you, Lady Mila. Who could have written something like this? I wonder. But in any case, it's mistaken. As you can see, I'm perfectly fu- Ivor, run! <laughs> Yeah, 
Call that timid? I thought you said the monster would be a pussycat now that it's solemn and Renome is here. That should be the case. Unless... With the four great spirits missing, the spirit climbs have essentially stopped shifting. Great. How will we cross Fezabel Marsh to get to Fenmont? Yeah. Cross Fezabel Marsh? <laughs> you people are out of your minds! Only a wyvern could reach Fenmont at this point! Fortunately, it just so happens that I, the redoubtable handmaid, can be of assistance to Lady Mila. You know a way to get there? I have in my possession a wyvern, faithful only to me. I would be happy to transport Lady Mila to Fenmont. Ivern, is there any other way? Huh? Uh, well, uh... uh... There is, isn't there? Tell me. I have heard of a clan in Shandu that can control monsters. They raise wyverns there, apparently. I guess that's our next stop. Onward to Shandu. Ivor, thank you. Ivor? Uh, shall we go? Yeah. That's the bird that delivered the letter! You dirty bird! When Mila saves the four great spirits, she will need the key in your possession. This will be your chance to beat Jude once and for all. Wait until I contact you again. Then you will free the four great spirits and become Lady Mila's true champion. <laughs> you won't get the upper hand this time, phony! Are we really gonna ride a wyvern? They sound really scary. Iver guy is something else, huh? Apparently, he's Mila's handmaid. But perhaps we shouldn't be surprised at her unusual taste and friends. They don't get much weirder than that. <laughs> You're one to talk, Tipo. He scared me. He was so mad at Jude. Well, he does attract the weird ones. <laughs> You're one to talk, Leia. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Sounds like Ivor found some useful information. I hadn't heard about these wyverns before. 
Wyverns are a special breed of flying monster native to a remote region of Azul. They're quite intelligent, but very rare. And only those who have mastered a special art can train them. Is it really safe to ride one? That depends. I've heard that if a naughty child tries to ride, the wyvern will gobble her right up. Is that true? Don't worry, Ellie's a good kid. Yeah, she'll be fine. But what about you? Hmm. It would be a shame to see Tipo get eaten. That can't be good for a wyvern's stomach. Huh? No! You can't let it eat me! It's okay! You're a good kid, too! <laughs> well, he's a gullible one. I can tell you that much.